What's up, guys? What's up, daddies? McWeezy here. So, decided I'm going to make a new show, almost, I guess. I'm going to have a couple more. Told you, I'm trying to do everything, you know. Um, I have, I'm still trying to put a team together so we can do, like, we have multiple people and stuff. But right now, it's just me and my editor. Um, shout out to Nick Mitchell. You know, the daddy. The OG daddy. Um... First of all, excuse the herpy. It's uh, I burnt my lip making macaroni and cheese. <laughs> it's a true story. Um, so this one is you know I, I find myself being having a very I feel like trustworthy opinion when it comes to you know TV, movies, anime, video games even. So I'm gonna start doing a review show. And um, let me get this wire out of here. Jesus. So, I would like to call it the Weezometer. And it's going to be measured in inhaler puffs, right? So, like, something's awesome. It'll be five puffs. You get it? So, y'all know what's up. We're going to do the first Weezometer. So, I'm going to do this on, like, current things. Maybe some old things later, but right now, just current things. Um, so, first, something I just finished. Um, the show on Netflix, the Korean show called All of Us Are Dead. As you can see, the Squid Games poster back there, you know, you know that area. I, um, I do watch... Korean things, uh, but it's because, you know, anime trained me, so, you know, I'm, I'm okay with subtitles. Um, I recently actually just started, like, Squid Games was the first Korean show I ever watched. Um, then I watched Train to Busan, and then All of Us Are Dead. And uh, I think the zombie trope is played out. You know, honestly, like, everyone's doing zombies, but I gotta be honest, like, All of Us Are Dead, it was good. Alright, so when we rank something on the Weezometer, we're gonna break it off into categories. So, it's going to be acting, um, and if it's, you know, an anime or something like that, voice acting. Um, and this is for film and TV and stuff like that, not video games. Those That'll be a different uh, acting, story, like the actual story. And, and then, um, I was going to say, like, cinematography, but... You know, yeah, that, that'll work. Cinematography. It's like, and if it's anime, animation, obviously. So, <clears throat> like I said, the, the zombie trope is a little played out, but, you know, we'll start with, you know, acting first. But these, you know, these are, I don't know how old they actually were, but they were supposed to be in high school. And these are, honestly, these kids were pretty good. You know, um, there were some that I was like, and again, it, it is harder to judge when it's in another language because you are focusing on the subtitles as well. But, like, the main character the main male character Chung Son hope I'm saying that right he was honestly awesome like you know and then you get like Bear Su who's another character another main character and his acting was okay but <clears throat> of the male actors I think Chung Son was the best by far and he he just like it looked like it was real for me um and then of the female actors the Nam Ra was kind of blah to be honest like she was the prez but Overall, they were good. Um, you know, I liked the main female um, actress, and there, especially, and then there's uh, I can't remember her name, but the girl, the basically like the bad girl who's like smoking and stuff. Like she was really phenomenal, honestly. Um, and so overall, I'm gonna give acting just because like it really was like the two two of the actors really carried it. I'm gonna give it a two puffs. But. You know, then we go to story, right? Writing. So writing. Again, the zombie trope's played out, but they nailed it. Like it was, it was gripping. You know, it, they were focusing on more than just you know, oh zombies are attacking, and and they added some things that you've never seen in zombie movies. Like really, I mean, so like obviously, like there, you know, there's some, there's a lot of the same things. But there was a few things that they added, like that you didn't, that you haven't really seen in zombie movies, or at least I haven't. And then they added um, the really cool like thing that I liked is that they added like they they talked a lot about like 
what about these things that normal teenagers would be thinking about? And I like that idea that, like, instead of just, oh, my God, we're all going to die, they were, like, these kids were, like, oh, man, what about my test I was supposed to take? Or, oh, my God, what about this girl that I really like? And, and it was, I like that. And uh, I thought it was a different take, you know, instead of just, the, oh, God, this fear of dread, this, you know, fear of dread, this dread of dying the whole time. They realize, like, they got to have a life after if they do live. And that's what I like, that the, that the director and writer took it there. And the also, they made it, like, you know, even though you, it didn't seem like it was going to be at first, they made it, like, hard. Like, when I say hard, I mean, I mean like, like hard, like, in certain parts where, like, you, you felt it. Like, it hit hard. Like, when, and they, they weren't afraid to go certain places. And I'm not going to try. I'm trying not to spoil it, obviously. So, and, um. I really liked it, um, and and from that from the actual writing standpoint, it was, I honestly I'm gonna give it five puffs. It, <laughs> final category is cinematography, so, you know the directing, the way everything looked, the special effects. Um, this is honestly another solid effort. Like the zombies looked real, the you know the guts looked real, like the um, makeup was really good, all of it, and uh, and I like the camera shots too, but. There was a few times where you can tell, like, that the, uh, you know, the, honestly, that it was, like, it felt, like, forced too much whenever when I, whenever the camera shots, when they were doing, like, stunts and stuff. Other than that, I mean, I, I really liked it. So I'm going to give it a four for puffs. So three, four, and a five. I'm not good at math, so forgive me if I average this wrong. I, I'm going to give it a 4.5 puffs total. 4.53. We'll go. Yeah, right there. And I liked it a lot. Um, like I said, it was surprising because zombies are so overdone. But I only watched it because, like, I, I fucking love Squid Games. And I was like, man, you know, maybe this will be good. And it has one of the actresses from Squid Games in it. And so I decided to watch it and give it a shot. And I binged the hell out of it. Like, I finished it in two days. And each episode is like an – it's you know, on Netflix, typically, you think of commercials. So they make the episodes like 45 minutes. Each episode was over an hour long. And uh, each one felt like a movie itself. That's something I really, really liked. So, uh, obviously, 4.5, I highly recommend it. So, go watch it. And if you can't deal with subtitles, just watch the dubbed version. I mean, I'm just trained for subtitles because of, you know, anime. But, all right, guys. Um, that is my first Weezometer episode. Go watch it. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.